you doing okay? Who's ready for some girl chat? Okay. Who's ready? You ready? I'm so ready. Well, let's get right into it. First up, raising a family is no easy task for any parent, but some people face an additional challenge when they take on the role of being a step parent. Ooh, when discussing yes. the role of a stepmom, Lindsay Ferrier of the Huffington Post said, quote, a good stepmom is physically and emotionally available when her stepkids need and want her to be. And she backs off and becomes a behind the scenes supporter to her mm. husband's mm. parenting when they don't. Ooh, that's mm. awesome. Now, I like that. Adrian. Yes. <laughs> you about to be a stepmama. Yes. yes. That's crazy. Have you thought about that role? I have. I really have thought about it. And Honestly, I'm really excited about it. Really? I am excited. He's got incredible children. Mm -hmm. um, he does. They're so much, right? You guys yeah, have met them. They're amazing. amazing kids. They, they are, are awesome. And actually, some of them aren't kids. Two of them are adults. So they're living their like adult life. And I love that I get to be a part of that and see that. And um, Israel is a phenomenal father. And I think um, <laughs> they have a great dad and they have an amazing mom. So it's kind of like the quote said, I get to kind of be there supportive and absolutely be there for them emotionally, physically. Whatever they need me, in any capacity they need me, I am absolutely always gonna be there. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that, okay. Yeah. All right. cool. That's nice. Yeah. All right, but I'm about to be, Let's I got get to. Let's okay. get real. Of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, so, um, what, have you discussed, like, can you discipline them? Yeah, like, what if yeah, you okay. catch one of them, like, They're not, they're doing older, something. though, you guys. Like, the youngest you, one is 13. The, 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 13? But Ooh, yeah. 13's okay. young. Now, you guys no. don't, 13 can get it to the mess. You know Look, my, the youngest you know, is she's, you know, she's, she's actually, different. she's like 13 going on 21. Yes. She's so okay. mature. So I got really, really blessed, you guys. They're like, they're not normal kids. They're, they're like really world changers. Mature. They're kind. They're wise. They are gracious. But let's so, like, just say, I got really yeah. blessed. But let's just say. You haven't made no plans about that. Okay. Yeah, I what? think that their dad should be the disciplinary. That's okay. just my That's opinion. What I'm okay. Okay. I would feel more comfortable if he, if they discipline. But I will say this. They're cool enough that if I had to say something, that if I was like, man, I don't think that was the greatest thing they are wise enough to be like, I get it. And you can talk to them. They're not like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Like they can absorb that kind of information. Yeah. You okay. can see Adrian discipline. I know. Discipline. No, I'm gonna no. see that side My of My version of discipline, they know exactly what it would be. <laughs> I'd be like, don't be doing that. But like, okay. I'm yeah. like the fun, we have right. a good time, but I think they know if I was like, don't, don't do that. What like, do they, what do you want them to call you once you get married? We actually had this conversation and it was weird because we said that the, Stereotype of the name stepmom yeah. sounds so mean. It sounds like the evil stepmom. And then also at the same time, when I introduce them to people, I hate the idea of being like, these are my stepchildren. Yeah, like that sounds, sounds yeah, so yeah. negative. Yeah. yeah. So so we're figuring out a name. What do you guys think? Like, how what do you say? Your squad. I love that! <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is our yeah. squad. I and I'm telling you, they would love that. You should have them, and I think we kind of talked yeah. about this, you should have them come up with a name that yeah. they feel comfortable Ooh, sure. to call you. Yeah. So, it's like so it makes click. it comfortable yeah. for but everybody. I, I like that right? they call me A. I like that they have their own little nicknames for me. They call me AB, but like, I, I, I do think that that is a great idea. Yeah. Well, like when they introduce you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's when like, they tell their friends who you are. I'm just they... trying to get into it. Right. I'm thinking about it. Oh. I really am here. thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Israel. They, they say that's that. They'll say Israel. What do you want, Israel? Israel. What do you want? Put that water down. Put water down. He does not want to be on camera right now. Put the bottle of water down. When I babe, what that. do they call me? They just say. They just call you A. But um, what if someone were to say, to? "Who is she?" What do they say? They would probably say, "My dad's wife," right? Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. Or, okay. or my stepmom. No, they don't really. I don't they think don't... they would, honestly. My dad's How about my dad's boo? Because it sounds I, mean. I like that I even question, better, Jeannie. I have a question for you, Is, Because she said she would be fine with just you disciplining the kids. Would you feel comfortable if she disciplined them? Because I think she... She's, she's pretty freaking amazing. I mean, She'll know how to do it. What kind of discipline are you gonna give a 13 I'm and a 15 year old right her. now? Like, <laughs> no, but are like, you gonna be like, go to your she, room or you're grounded or something like, like that? Like, could she ground them? <laughs> or like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. You don't have to do it. Okay, we're sure? gonna be good cop, bad cop, and I am the good she's one, okay? She's gonna be the good cop, okay. All right. Now, another thing is, 
I know that I got a lot of reaction on Twitter and Instagram. I read all your comments, you guys, good and bad. But people were confused, you know, in general, that in the past I've said I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to date, or I had issues with dating somebody that had children. Uh -huh. Or like that sort of thing, those kind of comments. And I have to say to you, in life, you can say something like that and you can make a very final statement mm -hmm. and then someone comes into your life and changes all your plans. Right. Yes. And for some reason, That's right. if, That's it, if, if the idea of that didn't work out for me before and it sounded like, like, well, what is that gonna mean? You know, they, they already experienced that with somebody else. He's been married before. He, and I for sure suffered from all those insecurities before, trust me. Right. I don't feel any of that in this relationship. I just don't. I I can't tell you what that is. Maybe that's the peace of God. I don't, I don't feel those you know, same insecurities It's called evolving. All. It's called Growing evolving, and that's what happens with life. You evolve in yeah. life, and nothing's wrong with saying, yes. you know, this is what happened yesterday, yeah. and now this is what I feel today. It's, I have the right to grow. Exactly. Uh, right. Hello, it's true love. I was yeah. saying, it's called love. falling in, in love. love. Yeah. That's exactly what you did. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. yeah. It also makes a difference. Uh, for all you dads out there that are dating women or you really want to um, have a permanent relationship with somebody or you want to marry them, it, it is really important for the man to take a stance. You are the father, you call the shots, and I think uh, the way you treat that woman is how your children are gonna treat that woman. If you establish that she is to Let be respected, know. she is to be loved, Let I plan know. on having a life with this woman, it changes the situation. I thank God for you, because you've made it so, such an easy transition. You've always included me. You never made me feel like an outsider to the yeah. family. Don't make have. me cry, stop it! Yeah. That makes a difference. Let's Come give her a hand to Israel yeah. for coming in. Thank you. He's not even ready, he's just chilling over there. I know, over there. We can all agree that whether you're a mom or a stepmom, teaching manners is important. Yes. yes, it is. Yes, and not interrupting someone while they're speaking what should you be mean? at the top of the list. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have a three and a half year old who's always like, "Ma, ma, ma, ma," and I'm like, "Wait a minute! I'm talking with grown-ups. Grown-ups are talking." So whether you're <laughs> interrupting someone because you just can't hold in your excitement, or you weren't paying attention. When so. you gonna finish this? What are hey, you trying to say? Lottie! You're doing exactly what He's I'm talking terrible. about. You're yeah. interrupting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to listen. This, this is a long You speech. have to pay attention. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and you know what, Love the producers, it. the producers told me to do this to you because they wanted me to prove the point. Now okay. you can finish. Okay. Okay, go <laughs> okay. 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 so annoying. Keep well, going. knowing that you're a serial interrupter <laughs> can be the first step with dealing with the problem. <laughs> so, one at a time, Lonnie. <laughs> Have you ever been told that you have this issue? Have you guys ever been told that you're an interrupter? Absolutely. Uh, okay. You guys tell me all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> what I will say is this. <laughs> if I don't interrupt you, you should be offended because that means I don't care about what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not excited. You didn't evoke anything in me to contribute something. I just don't care. I'm probably thinking about something else. I didn't even hear you. Thank you. But, but if I get excited, that's when I cut people and off. sometimes okay. at this table, you gotta interrupt because yeah. you won't hey, get nothing said. That's so that's true. What hey. I will I'm... say this, y'all. I never was an interrupter until I did this show. You exactly. have to. If I, I don't get it. in, I'm dying. No. Because exactly. you remember in the beginning, I was like, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, you over there huh, trying huh, to be huh, polite. Huh, huh, huh. Hi. Yeah. And look uh, where that got hello. you. Hello, now I'm like, <laughs> hey, excuse me, yeah. I gotta talk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It feels good. Yes. It feels you good. Feel good. It does. You feel so y'all taught me how to interrupt. There you I go. I don't feel like it's on purpose when we interrupt each other. No, though, it comes out of excitement. Yes. And I just interrupted. See? Oh my God. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> but I, I always think that like, <laughs> I think, I, I've always said that I uh -oh. think <laughs> with my mouth. Like, yes. you know how some yes. people, okay, all right. But like, I, people have like a thought and then it travels through your brain and it comes out through your mouth after you think about it. Yes. God kind of snipped mine a little short because it just zooms right out. No, so, no, 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 no. Your filter is Let me is tell you short. about your thoughts, Jeannie. What? It just don't go through. It takes a plane and a train <laughs> and then it does a jog and then it comes through. 
sometimes you have us over here on this side. We be like, like, where is she going yes. with this? Where? Jeannie always takes a detour. Yeah. I do. Always. Because you get, this is Tim, you get to the point, and your point is good. Yeah. But I'm just, I just want to be awake when you get to the point. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> True, no, but at least you really? say it with excitement. Yes, I you do. You always are committed. Well, and she's just... animated, too, about yeah. it. Yes. She's going to throw in some voices, and yeah. then she's going to describe Mama, my... what she did and what yes. she ate yes. and what it looked like and this and that. And be like, oh, yes. yeah, what well, we going to get, too? The... Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm just making sure every single one of you and you guys are paying attention to the detail. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. Now, thank you. Now, one thing people have been speaking out on a lot is the idea behind power posing. Have you guys heard of this? Power posing, okay. It's where you stand oh. in a certain way to give yourself more confidence. Oh. Now, it seems that one of the main authors behind power posing has become one of its biggest skeptics. Yes, a switcheroo, a 180. Dana Carney recently admitted that she now does not believe that the effects of power posing are real. She says that the, because of the way the experiment was run, power posing does not have the positive psychological effects she originally thought it did. You guys see what I'm saying? So yeah. She was all about okay. it one day, and now she's like, no, actually, it's, it's a bunch of boo hickey. So what do you <laughs> <Boo> think? <hickey. laughs> do power poses work for you, or do you think they're just dumb? I think they're dumb. You do? Well, I don't get it. I'm supposed to stand like Superman and then I'm supposed to become Superman? I don't get it. Okay. I... You power pose, though. Oh, my no, God. I'm I do, too, but I had no idea what I was doing. I was just... What does that even mean? What is... Okay, in, in the... In the um... In an easy sense, power posing is a pose like that. Like, uh, like a... Okay. Pose. So I'm gonna walk One into a room like... But guess what? Every single one of you ladies here at this table, you guys do power pose. Yeah. You take on it. You guys are all seasoned because you know you've been in front of the camera. You know what pose to do so that you don't feel insecure. Because let me tell you, if you stand in front of a camera like this, yeah. or you're doing this when you're doing interviews, you're not conveying a powerful message. And a lot of people who aren't on camera don't know this. So actually, I really do believe in power poses because if you don't have like a good three in the back of your mind for that first job interview, for that first date, or when you need to confront somebody, guess what? You're not going to feel the way you want inside to come out. I agree. So it's true. Let me it's see true. your power pose. Mine? Well, hmm, okay, mine would have to be, it depends on what I'm wearing, okay. but if I'm wearing oh a dress God. like this, then it would be one leg in front of the other uh -huh. and a hand on my hip and a ow. Oh. You better show that slim arm. Right? You know what I mean? You yes. have one too. Tam is yeah. good at no, power pose. No, I'm not. Really? You guys, this it's is not just power good posing to me. Posing. You just Someone pose. said, if you put your hands like this, you'll just look skinnier. So <laughs> that's what I do. And then they said, oh, if you cross your leg, You'll look, yeah, you'll these, look better no, as well. That's a skinny so, pose and just I don't, a good I picture don't, pose. Yeah. How does it give you power? I don't know. I, well, I didn't know. I guess it just exudes. Yes. You get, you feel, you know, because like I, I, I have to hold my stomach in when I do mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really want you to t look at yourself in the mirror okay. and figure out what are the poses that make you feel strong and confident. You guys, I promise it works just like a smile when you smile. Take it actually... a selfie and put it yes. and then hashtag it and send it to the real, yes. all right? <laughs> <laughs> 